All right, so we're looking at the solutions for question eight. Um, it's under the heading um, Algebra Relations and Function and Graph, CSEC 2021 uh, Mathematics Paper. Question eight, it says, the straight line graph of x is equal to five minus three y intersects the x axis at p and the y axis at q. Determine the coordinates of p and q. Uh, let us just have a quick visual. So we're looking at a line like this, and it intersects the x-axis at P and the y-axis here at Q. Um, you can see that this is 0, 0 right here. This is 0, 0 right here. So what it means then, if I'm going to find the coordinate of P, I could simply substitute 0. Um, for example, when x is 0, when x is 0 here, I'll get the y-intercept value, and when y is 0, I'll get the x-intercept value. So, basically, using this formula, it says this. This says x equal to 5 minus 3, let me write this a little better, minus 3y. So, if I want to know the x-intercept, I'm going to plug in when y is 0, and it's going to give me this value. So x is equal to 5 minus 3 times y, but y is 0 at the intersection, or interception, right? So x is equal to 5 minus 0. So x is equal to 5. So right here, we have a 5 on the x-axis. Um, similarly, we could come up with, so this is a 5, 0 for that. Um, so similarly, we could come up with um, the one for y right now. All right, so we want to look at the y. Looking at the one for y. All right. So, all right, so let's look at this quickly. So similarly, we're saying that x is equal to 5 minus 3y. And if we want to find the y-intercept here, we, at the y-intercept, x is 0. So that means 0 is equal to 5 minus 3y. So I'm substituting 0 for x. Then we solve. Um, negative 5, as in we subtract 5 from both sides. Negative 5 is equal to negative 3y. Divide by negative 3 by negative 3. So definitely we're seeing that 5 thirds is equal to y. Um, which means that the co this so here is five thirds so the coordinate would have been zero five thirds all right so those are the coordinates right there um, for p and q all right the, it says calculate the length of pq giving your answer in two decimal places so you can see that we're going to be getting some decimals um, well we could quickly look at it where, where the x and the y axis would have met, this is a 90 degrees. So we, we're going to use, quickly we could use the Pythagoras theory um, to come up with the length from P to Q easily. Um, so basically, PQ is going to equal to the root of, so I'm just going to plug the numbers in, the root of, um, so it's going to be this distance here, which is 5, and this distance here, which is 5 over 3, or 1.67, we could use. So basically, we're looking at 5 square plus 1.67 square. Uh, this is 25. 25 plus 1.67 square. What do we get? We're going to get plus 2.7889. If we put everything together... This is going to be 27.7889. So we're going to get the square root of 27.7889. And that's going to be 5.27. All right, so the answer is 5.27 units. All right. So there it is, 5.27 units would have been the length of, of that line. 5.27 units. All right, very good. All right, there it is, 5.27 units. All right, so there it is, we have captured those. Let's run on to the next question. All right, other question says, let's look at it closer. The other question says, R is the midpoint of PQ. Determine the coordinates of R. And if you notice, it's a one mark question right here, just for one mark, right? 
so um, that means it's not a lot of work but when you look on what we do have over here let's go back to this this quick little diagram that I have the midpoint is simply halfway of each and worse based on where we have it here so half of this half of this and if you go up and go up this is gonna be our middle and it is definitely 5 over 2 and a half of 5 thirds which is 5 6 all right so basically the midpoint is clearly the midpoint the coordinate coordinate of R is simply the X value will be 5 over 2 and then it's 5 over 6 this is going to be um, the midpoint it's going to be half of that journey basically that we have there since we're at the origin and so forth all right let's go to the last piece of question all right b the b section I should say it says the function f and g are defined as f of x is equal to 5 minus x and g of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 1. Um, the graph of f of x and g of x meet as a point m and n um, determine the coordinates of those points. Well, we're going to have to do some working out here. Uh, normally when two, so basically, if this is, so an example just quickly, if this is our, um, our axis and we have one which is a quadratic, all right, and another which is a straight line. So I'm just making this up, right? Um, you would have seen that it's going to cross at two different places. So M and N. These two places would have um, the coordinates. For example, this has an X. It also has a Y. This one has an X and it also has a Y. So we're going to have to solve that idea. That is what we're looking for. But notice where both graphs meet, they are equal. So because we know that they're equal, we're able to do that. For example, x, all we have to do now is to say x squared, which is a quadratic, minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 5 minus x. Let's bring them together because we're going to solve this quadratic. x squared minus 2x plus x, getting this, add x to both sides, minus 1. Subtracting 5 from both sides, we get that equals 0. Getting everything on one side, let it equal to 0. Uh, x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. All right, so we want to solve this right about now. So if we're going to solve this, definitely, definitely, um, all right. So we could factorize to solve easily. Example, x uh, we're going to have an x and a minus 3, then we have an x and a plus 2, this is equal to 0. So um, you have to use your factorization as you go on. So at this stage, we could say either, either x minus 3 is equal to 0, which means x is equal to 3, which is one of our solutions for x, or x plus 2 is equal to 0, which means x is equal to negative 2. All right, so what we want to do, though, we can use these two values now to help us to, to get the other two responses. So let's, let's go. Now, remember, remember here, we need to find values for y. All right, so therefore, remember, y is equal to 5 minus x. So we could substitute here. Remember, x is equal to 3. All right, therefore y is equal to 5 minus 3 which is equal to 5 minus 2 so now we're seeing here that y is equal to my bad 5 minus 3 so is equal to 2 so the one of the solutions one of the coordinate let us say this is m the coordinate of m is going to be Coordinate of M will be 3, 2, right? And then let's look at N. Let's look at N. So N, we have the same thing. Y is equal to 5 minus X. X is equal to negative 2. So Y is equal to, therefore, Y is equal to 5 minus negative 2. 
and we're looking at positive 7. So um, coordinate for n would be negative 2 and 7. So these would be the coordinates. All right. And um, basically, this is how we would have worked to this. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.